Hey everyone, I'm Tashina from Logical Harmony. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having such a good day. Now today's video is going to be kind of like a roundup of some of the cruelty-free products that I've been sent recently or have purchased and just sharing some like new launches with you. Some are brand new overall, some are just new to me, um, but I thought that this would be fun because it's been a while since I've done one of these. I just think it's fun to share like what's standing out to me about what's new and to hear from you about what is stood out to you. Now today's video is sponsored by Dossier and they are a cruelty-free and vegan perfume company that makes alternatives to your favorite luxury perfumes. Or if you're like me and most luxury perfumes you've never smelled and you've always wanted to, but they aren't cruelty-free, it gives you that option, which is really great. Prices start as low as $29, and if you use code TASHINA10, you get 10% off. I'll have a link in the description down below. I'm going to be sharing a couple scents with you later on in this video, but I just wanted to mention that first and foremost. Let's get into it. I tried to like kind of pare down what was going to be in this video. I feel like I've been really selective about what I've been purchasing because there's just, I don't need a lot of stuff, but there have been some things that I have wanted to try or that I have just been so curious about. And also things that I've received in PR that I wanted to include that have really like stood out to me as something interesting and fun. Two scents from Dossier that I wanted to talk about that I've been loving lately are the Amber, Ambery Cherry. Ambery Cherry, I keep forgetting the why. Sorry, I can't stop smelling it. This one is meant to be an alternative for Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, which I've heard a lot about, but I've never tried. This does retail for $59, so as far as their perfumes go, this is one that's up on the higher end, and I feel like that says so much about the brand, where $59 is like the higher end of what they're offering. Again, they do offer scents starting at $29, and you can use code TASHINA10 for 10% off. I'll put a link in the description box. So the notes of this one are cherry and almond with some cinnamon, clove, and then you also have like some rose, jasmine, and vanilla in there. It's such a nice blend, and I feel like as you wear it, other tones come up. Rose can be really tricky for me. I either really love it or I really dislike it because some roses are very like powdery, and I don't find this one to be as powdery, I think, because it has those other spice notes in it, like the cinnamon and the clove. It kind of warms it up. And then the jasmine and the vanilla make it like a little bit lighter. I don't know. It's just such a good mix. I really, really like it. It smells really pretty and it's completely different from so many things that I have and wear. So I'm excited about this. And then I also wanted to talk about powdery tobacco. So this is an alternative to Tom Ford's tobacco vanilla. It does retail for $49. If you love like woodsy, spicy tobacco scents like I do, you're going to love this one. Um, so it has notes of tobacco, ginger, vanilla. There's some tonka bean in there, some fruity notes, and then cacao too. I guess it would be cocoa, wouldn't it? It is just like a a rich smoky spicy blend like I it kind of reminds me of like a tobacco whiskey kind of scent and I really really like it I love the packaging of their bottles too so they do have a magnetic seal on them so you know it's nice and secure and they're just like clean simple designed bottles which I really appreciate they're not trying to do something over the top Dossier do, does also have candles now too, which is great. Um, I am so excited about this scent. I really like both of these. I think you're going to like them too. And I wanted to pick two that were like pretty different to share with you. Now, I know the notes are similar, like there's the vanillas and stuff in them. And that's just what I tend to like. But the cherry is so different for me. And if you're someone that tends to like the scents I usually like, you're going to like the powdery tobacco. So definitely check them out. They do have tons and tons of different scents too so really no matter what you're looking for they're gonna have something and if you had a perfume that was your favorite before you went cruelty free or you're cruelty free and someone's always suggesting this other perfume to you that isn't cruelty free it's a great way to check out the scent and actually get it from a company that's cruelty free and vegan friendly as well first thing i want to talk about because i am so so excited about this is the shroud and batty bean hallow bean palette. Now this is their second collab. I purchased the first one. They sent me this one. They're both so pretty. I'm actually wearing this today on my eyes. I did Crypt in the crease, well Crypt up above Losers Club, and then I layered Wicked with Ghastly. I'm wearing Ghoulish as my highlight, and then it's showtime on like the inner corner kind of, and then I did a little bit of Wardsboro mixed with Ghoulish 
in like this area of my eye. It's just such a pretty, pretty palette. I think it's such a cool color story. I'm really, really loving it. The formulas are great. It's a great palette. I think if you're looking for a good, like grungy fall palette to add to your makeup collection, this is gonna be a great one. I know it's currently out of stock, but they've said that they are going to be restocking it. And if you can get your hands on the other collab with Fatty Bean too, because that is also a super great palette that I use quite frequently. I really, really like both of them. From Tower 28, I purchased these from Credo. So I got their Sunny Days SPF 30. It's a tinted sunscreen that I wanted to give a try. I got the shade Larchmont. I think it's a little fair for me right now, but going into winter, I am going to get paler. And then I also picked up their mascara, which I don't know the name of it. Oh, Make Waves. This is so good. This is really, really good. Um, I wasn't sure if I would like it. I feel like I was seeing it was a divisive product, which you guys know I love it. When people like either love it or hate it, I really want to try it. And I picked this up. I absolutely love it. It does such a good job on my lashes of adding length. It's very, very buildable. It adds a little bit of volume. This is one of the best mascaras I've ever tried. Like I, I love it. I'm hooked. Their tinted SPF, I have not tried yet. I've just swatched it. And when I swatched it on my hand, it rubbed in really nicely. Again, the color's a little bit light for me right now, but that's okay. There were just so many shades that were sold out even on their own website. So I picked the one that I thought would be fine because I'm like, you know what? I can always add bronzer. Not too, I'm not bummed about that. I do like that it's an SPF 30. I do wear SPF daily. You should as well. So with what you use for this, you're not going to get the full SPF 30 is my understanding, but that's fine wear your SPF, buy a different one anyway. I'm not going to lecture you on that. I have enough already, but I'm really excited to try this. It looked really nice. I've heard great things about it. About Face sent over their new cream blushes. I only grabbed a couple of these. These are so pretty. I love them. I love the color variety that they picked. They included some like light tones. There's some mediums. There's some like purples in there, some really dark ones. It's a really nice formula. I've applied it with my fingers. I've applied it with a brush. Both ways, it gives you a lot of pigment. It blends out super nicely. Everything I've tried from About Face has been so good. I've purchased so many things from them. They did recently start sending me PR and I received these in PR. And I'm so thankful for that because I absolutely love this brand. And these are, they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. They're so, so pretty. And I love that it's like this sleek little compact. It's so much smaller than most blushes that I own. They did also send me their new eyeliners, which are also super good. Very creamy. I love the variety of shades. Now this one, the like one that looks like it'll be black is more like a really dark black navy. It's actually called blue is the new black. And I think that kind of gives you a hint to the tone of it. These are so pretty. I'm wearing this one. I mix this with the black and put out my waterline. This is like one of my favorite liner colors ever. I'm so glad they launched one. But these are super creamy, super easy to apply. You can blend them out really easily and they're very long lasting. I'm so impressed by these. I hope they come out with more of them. Like a lime green would be so pretty. I don't know why I love everything in lime green. I think it's because I'm just waiting for their liquid eyeshadow in lime green to come back in stock and it hasn't yet. But these are so gorgeous. I absolutely love them. Okay, Lime Prime launched eyeshadow sticks and they're called Electric Slide. They did a handful of different colors, some that are pastels, some that are a little more like primary. Most of these are shimmery. Now I've played with all of them. I think that they're really, really nice. So it does have a brush built in, which I think is super helpful and you can pull it off so you can actually wash this brush. I think it's so smart that they did that because that's my issue with so many built-in brushes is you can't wash them and they just get like gross or I never ever use them. Um, but it is a twist up pencil. It is flat on the end. It kind of reminds me of a lipstick in a way, like the shape of it. So it's definitely great for like doing all over color. You can tilt it and do like a liner if you want. These do blend out really nicely or you can just like use them as a base. So if you want very pigmented color, you can layer it on and then put a powder over it if you want, or you could do like a translucent powder to set the color that it is. I think they're really nice. It's nice to see something different from Lime Crime. I hope they expand on the shades that they offer soon. I think that's my only complaint is like they're pretty, 
but I want more. Um, so I'm really hoping that they launch more of these in the future, but they are really nice. And that's why I want more colors from it. I want to try more. Okay. I've heard this pronounced as EXA, but also EXA. So I'm not totally sure how to say it, but they sent over their two new primers. There is one that is like a hydrating primer. It's called the, called the Jumpstart Smoothing Primer. And then there's Splash Zone Oil-Free Hydrating Primer. So I have tried both of them now. I have dry skin and this one, Splash Zone, the oil-free hydrating primer, is definitely hydrating. It provides a matte finish. It feels very light on the skin. Both of them feel so incredibly lightweight on the skin. This is the one that I'm wearing today, the Jumpstart Smoothing Primer. It is meant to smooth the look of your appearance, smooth the look of your pores, any fine lines. It definitely does that. And again, these just feel like they're so light. It's like you're applying skincare to your skin. I really like how they feel. They work really well with the Milk Sunshine Skin Tint. That's what I've been wearing. That's like my favorite foundation. And I'm impressed by them. I think they're really pretty. I think they feel good on the skin. And I like the packaging too. It's very like sturdy feeling. So it is a pump package for both of them. This is nice, solid, solid packaging. Yeah, I really like it. I'm excited to try more from the brand. So the last things I wanted to talk about were from Half Magic Beauty. They sent these to me and they're nice. So the first thing I really want to talk about is this liquid lipstick. Holy moly, this is like the best liquid lipstick I have ever used. It feels so light on the lips. It feels like you're just putting on like a regular lipstick or a chapstick and it stays that lightweight feeling. So it definitely dries as a matte liquid lip the way that most do but it doesn't get flaky it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel dry it just stays feeling the same all day i eat with this i did all these things with it i drank coffee all these things had zero transfer at any time it looked just as good at the end of the day as it did when i started with it and that really impressed me so the shade that they sent me was magic brownie this is a beautiful 90s grungy lipstick shade i think this is going to be one of my favorites for fall. I'm so excited about it. The formula is amazing. I want to try more shades, but I'm so happy they sent me this one because this is like one of my absolute favorite lipstick shades. And now I have like a favorite liquid lipstick formula. It's, it's great. I have not used these ones yet, but they sent me their Chroma, Chroma Addiction and Spirit Guide. So these are like, this one is a liquid eyeshadow, I believe. Just so pretty. Like, look at that. It's so gorgeous. I'm going to swatch that. Are you kidding me? That's so pretty. And then they also sent over like their glitter liner, which I'm kind of a little bit confused. I think I was expecting pigment like this from it. And it's just like a little bit lighter and more, not watery, but it's just more subtle. So if you're someone who doesn't want that full, like bam, all here's all the glitter. This is going to be a good option for you that you could easily use all over your lid. I think the packaging is fun and interesting. I'm trying to shake it up. But you can definitely let it dry and then layer more on. And I could see that being fun on its own or topped over something else. I feel like you can't really see it. And then they also sent their Light Trap, which is a duochrome glow powder. Okay, this packaging is really cute, but like, look at this. Like it's so buttery. It's so smooth. Look at that pigment. Like what the heck? What the heck? It's so pretty. So, so pretty. I'm really excited to give them a try. I think these are all going to be so beautiful together and I cannot wait to use them. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'd love to hear about what stood out to you recently, what you've picked up that has like jumped out to you. It's like, oh my gosh, this is great. Or, oh my gosh, I need to try this if you haven't picked it up yet. And if you've tried anything I talked about in today's video, I would love to hear about that too. I'm always so curious what your thoughts are on products that I'm loving. And I love hearing about what is appealing to you because it helps me like sometimes you guys introduce me to products and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I really want to give that a try. So please don't be shy. Comment, let me know. Once again, thank you to Dossier for sponsoring today's video and I'll see you next time.